Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter and this is a follow-up from my last video where we talked about getting a polygon topology into plasticity from Blender and there was a couple of follow-up questions in the comments um, the method I showed yesterday relied on um, being able to export as an IGES file here which requires a paid plugin for Blender. So we're going to go through and obviously you can only import IGES files on the studio version. I still think this is the best way and I get the best results uh, but we're going to show two other methods. One is to sort of um, use this plugin to convert this to an IGES. And then we will um, use another software to export that as a file format that you can use on the indie license but do beware i have run in with bugs with this and it is does seem to be a lot more heavy than this method um, and the second thing that we will do is we will um, convert an stl file and clean it up in this other software um, so that it can also be used as a step file in plasticity so this free software that i'm talking about is called freecad now freecad is a uh, free software open source like blender uh, but for cad okay so um it's it's different from plasticity in a lot of ways and i'm not really that familiar with it but we'll crack into it and we'll do method number one okay so i'm just going to open up this file so we're going to open up this igs file so if you want to know how to get the plugin, watch my last video, but we're going to open up this file. It may take a little while to uh, load. Um, and once you've opened something up in um, FreeCAD, um, if you want to know how to navigate, you can right click and go to navigation styles. And I've just got this set to Blender. So middle mouse to rotate, shift middle mouse to pan and uh, control middle mouse to zoom. Okay, so we've got this object here. You can press one on the numpad to go into front view. And we just select the object. This is the IGES file. And then we go to this start menu and we change it to part. Okay. And under the part menu, we can just create solid, I believe. Yeah, convert to a solid. There you go. Okay. So we'll give that a little moment to do its thing. Okay, and that's done its thing now. And now we've got two files on top of each other. So you can get the old one and you can right click and you can go hide selection or you can just select it and press spacebar and it will hide the selection. Now you can just go to file, export and export this as a step file. Okay, um, and you should be able to open that up in plasticity. So we'll do that now. So I'll just go import and I've got one here and it took its time that took about uh, I don't know two minutes to import and it's still importing, but I'm just going to press OK. OK, and it will take a little while longer for it to be editable. OK, and that took about I don't know a minute and a half. Um, so once it does, you've got it there and you should be able to select faces and things like that. And I have run into bugs with this. We'll have a see if this works. This worked that time, but I have run into bugs with this um, being able to edit it. Um, still cool. That's that one out of the way. So I'm just going to go to new file, delete this. Okay. We'll open up FreeCAD again and we'll go file. Uh, we'll just hide this guy here. We'll go file um, and I'm going to open up the um, STL. Okay, now this one um, we've got here with the STL, you can see that. We're going to select that. Now, this is a little bit more, so make sure that you're in the part menu. Okay, go down to part and then first of all, go create shape from mesh. Okay, and it's got a sew shape. Okay, and we want to click that and we want to take this down to 0 0.01 okay that's the lowest you can go um, and we want to click OK this will take a couple of moments you'll see not responding it'll think about it, it takes a little while 
Okay, and then once again, select the first one and hit spacebar. And then we want to come down to the part menu and we want to go to create a copy and we want to go to refine shape. Okay. And this will take some time as well. Okay, and then we want to make sure that this one is hidden. And then we've finally got this. And then we want to go to uh, part again and we want to go to convert to solid. Okay. And that is done. So we want to hide this one again. Hide selection and select our solid. And now we can export that as a step file. Okay. And I just use these settings. Okay. And that shouldn't take too long. Okay. And then we can go back into plasticity. Okay. And we can import. It's importing. And we're going to click so. And we'll just let that do its thing. It might take a little while. And just while we're waiting for that, don't forget that I am a Plasticity Affiliate and you can use the code REFUGE10 to get a 10% discount off the Indie or the Studio license. And it helps out the channel. So, um, and you get a discount. So that's all good. Okay. This is really taking its time. So that's imported now and the scale is really small. So we're going to make that um, times 100. And we got this guy down here. Okay, so this is our guy in plasticity. We can change our mat cap. And by the way, all the mat caps are generated with a mat cap generator. And you should be able to play around with this now. Um, I do find that these are a little bit harder to deal with. Um, but that is how you clean up your mesh of an SDL polygon file to be able to use it in plasticity. So even patching a hole is really slow. And like I mentioned yesterday, when you're using these files in the preferences, you probably want um, on performance everything down to the lowest settings. Um, it just works a bit quicker for this uh, more than modeling. So we are able to kind of offset that and plasticity just crashed. So you can see that there is a little bit of effort so i do prefer that iges uh, method um, but if you're on the indie license and you want to play around with some maybe not something with as many polygons as this that might be or as many i don't know if these come into surfaces um, do these come into surfaces no they're not surfaces but um yeah you can you can play around and you can do what you like so um, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Um, tschüss.